All right, so I've added a little bit to the game, so you can see here, here's a survivor, and we're following him because no other players have spawned. So the camera follows this guy, um, and he's fleeing. Very basic pathfinding, you can, or zero pathfinding, I guess. He's just running away. But you'll see, up oh, zombie. Now he's bit. Um, now he's still gonna try to run away, but they're both biting him, so he's probably not gonna last very long. His infection has taken hold, and he's losing health with each bite from these zombies. So eventually, uh, this guy's gonna turn. Uh, see, now he's a zombie. So now he's just joined the ranks of the undead. And he will hunt down and kill his fellow survivors. And you can see in the top left corner, the count is going down slowly but surely. Now the cool thing is I put this script on... Uh, I made a new script called Human, and that's kind of the base script. And then that inherits from mono behavior, just like a normal uh, Unity script. But then I have the Human and NPC, or sorry, Player and NPC scripts inherit from that Human class. So they get all the benefits of mono behavior. They get all the um, benefits of that Human script. So that allows me to make the player script only focus on the stuff that a player needs. So this is like input controls and whatever. And the NPC script will focus on only the things that NPCs cares about, which is like eventually pathfinding and finding targets and whatever. Uh, but the cool thing about it is that it means that NPCs and players uh, can inherit the same kind of variables and the same kinds of functions and stuff like that. Don't know what's going on there. Um, which means that players, once added, now have all of the same uh, problems basically as NPCs do. So if I'm an NPC civilian and I get bit, uh, I become infected and then I slowly die. And when I'm dead, I become a zombie. And the same goes for a player. So watch. Uh, oh, that that's that guy's not gonna last. Go go go, dude! Go go go! Um, so watch. He's eventually gonna turn if he doesn't get eaten by all the hordes. He might do that though. Go go go! Go, dude! Go go go! <laughs> go! No! Don't get in a corner, you fool! Oh sh! All right, buddy. You got it. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. We need to get out of here. Go 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 go! Up. Oh. Ah, oh, we lost him. So got all these zombies outside. Let's say I'm bit. I don't even know if I am. I actually might be bit. Let me find out. Oh, I'm dead now. <laughs> okay. So I died. Um, and that's awesome because now it just goes back to watching other people being murdered. So let's add another player. Um, <laughs> now we got uh, zombie view, I guess, <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> on the right side. And this is survivor view. But I'll try to make this. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh god. Run. Run, you fool. So, right there, I uh, am tapping A to run. It's kind of broken right now. Oh god. Oh no. Uh, well, I'll show you what it means to be bitten. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Uh, but eventually. This will get polished and it'll actually be fun. All right, so you'll see here, um, if you don't have any, whoa, all right, <laughs> what, what is going on? <laughs> what the shit was that? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I looked a little bit more in the game. As you can see here, uh, we're following a survivor because I haven't spawned anybody else in. Uh, this guy's probably just gonna... Or, actually, no, I think this guy is a zombie. Yeah, he looks like a zombie. And he's going towards these dudes. So now he's biting them, and now they're gonna turn into uh, zombies too, eventually. Right now, they just have sex or something. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> you know, they, uh, <laughs> stress is high. Uh, things happen. You know, sometimes zombies just 
<laughs> Imagine this guy is getting eaten by zombies. And it'll be this one. Okay. All right. So here we are. Um, I've added this feature where. Oh God. Oh, now nah, he's.